Hi everyone, it's July the 19th, 2024, and I have words of the Lord from today, and I'm just going to say a quick prayer and get started. Lord Jesus, I thank you, Father, for this day, for your guidance, direction, your words of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that, that you're giving us, Father. I pray that we press in and seek you with all of our heart, all of our mind, and all of our soul, that you would direct our steps and just have your way, Lord. Guide and direct us, Lord. I pray for our hearts to seek you, know you, want you, love you, and serve you all the days of our life. I pray for the lost, the confused, the deceived, that we would not lean on our own understanding. I pray for the my brothers and sisters, Lord. I pray for the body of Christ to come together as one, united as one, one accord, one heartbeat. I plead the blood of Jesus over all of my brothers and sisters, over their jobs, their coming and their going, their homes, their families, and their children cover them lord like only you can i pray that we would walk according to your will as you direct our steps that we would walk on that narrow path that we would seek you wholeheartedly and i pray that this message goes out to everybody that needs to hear it i give you all glory honor and praise in the mighty name of jesus amen okay um this is the message from today july the 19th 2024 I'm sorry that the, the lighting looks really weird. I don't know why it's like that. Um, my daughter, pen my words of the Lord God Almighty for all who are seeking my ways and my will, my faithful as I say. Tell them apart from me, they can do nothing, but with me all things are possible. Call on me day and night. Come to my feet for all things Call on the name above all names, Jesus the Christ, in times of need. Know the power and authority in that name. There is power in the name of Jesus. Know the full power of the blood. Walk in it. Do not fear, but stand in confidence. Believe and walk in that truth. Pray for truth. I will show you great and mighty things you do not know. At my feet, children, put down the things of this world and know my ways. Pray for my will in your life. Pray for guidance and direction. I will direct those steps. Walk in your destiny. Many have been destined for great things. I am calling. Answer that call. Know my ways are higher than your understanding and expectations are higher. The higher the calling, the higher the expectations. With me, all things are possible. I send out my prophets and messengers to feed my sheep, discern my children. Many, many were called, but few have answered that call. I am not a man that I should lie, but I come with promises and truth from my own. Be my own. Do not be in regret later. Many, I tell you, will regret. Unfortunately, they will want what I am, what I am now giving when it's too late the hour is late my children time to answer your calling as i say many were called few chosen do not be left for all that is to come uncovered in your uncovered i am your covering your shield your teacher your firm foundation apart from me you can do nothing i am the beginning and the end i know all i know who has already made it who will still answer and who will shut their ears to the truth pray for all your loved ones and all those around pray for all your loved ones and all those around around you sorry pray for a large harvest the harvest is plenty but the harvesters few the king of kings and Lord of Lords, the beginning and the end of all things, King Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yeshua HaMashiach, the true Messiah. And that's the message for today. Um, So pray for discernment, understanding, revelation. The scriptures are going to be down in the the description, um, down in the bottom. And um, I just wanted to share something because I don't know, and even even me, like... um, until the Lord showed me this dream, and I've said this dream before, but it is so powerful, and it it says a lot. Um, we have to know the the name of of Jesus and and how powerful that name is to the evil ones. They cannot hear it. They 
the the dream that I had I was I don't know where I was but I was somewhere and there was this man dressed very nice very handsome but he was very manipulating and I could see the manipulation I can see that there was something not right about him and I and I was saying something but as soon as I, I knew to say in the name of Jesus because I knew that there was there was something just evil about him when I said that in the name of Jesus every time I said it he would squirm like he couldn't he, he was covering his ears like it burned his ears like it was acid to his ears it was so something he just could not hear so know that know that there's power in the name of Jesus and every single time he would he literally got on the ground and he wasn't dressed in a nice suit and everything he would squirm like a little rat down in the in, at the to the ground and he would squirm away and he would come right back up um but i would say it again and I, he would do the same thing he could not hear in the name of jesus um so with that pray about everything and know know without a doubt that there is power in the name of jesus if you are fearful about whatever whatever is going on then you need jesus like now say in the name of jesus if you need anything if, if you're in in a situation that you don't know what to do what to say always know that there's power in the name of jesus do not forget that keep it on written on your heart remember there's power in the name of jesus um and that's that's what i wanted to share so god bless you guys have a good night and pray about everything read your bibles press in pray worship read commune fast seek him seek father god lord jesus holy spirit with all of your heart mind and soul holy spirit is your teacher the that's your teacher not not man that you, uh, jesus and holy spirit that's your teacher right there and um that's my teacher that's who's teaching me and know that jesus is the only way the only truth to everlasting life god bless you i love you good night